Hey Kiora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling magic Monday. How has your magic Monday been? What magic did you get up to today? Um, we've had a totally awesome day here. It has been a very busy day. I am sort of like, I am so ready for a nap. <laughs> My brain is gone. So um, this morning we talked about, um, was that quote that Denzel Washington said, if you don't fail, you're not even trying. But it was also talking about the fact that you don't really fail at something, you successfully find ways that don't work. Which means that, okay, these ways don't work, so let's figure out another way. Um, and it could be, you know, there's all those little tweaks and changes you've got to do, and that's part of the magical sparkle. And then we had, um, we're talking about, um, what else did we talk about? Um, setting goals, going for them, and if you miss the goal, it's still okay, because if you've put an obnoxious goal out there to go after, and you get, say, three quarters of the way there, because you got in there, you got stuck in, you got working, just look at all the growth that you have done personally, and your business has done during that time. You may not have reached that obnoxious goal, but look at how much you've stretched and grown during that time, and that's where the magic comes in, because you're sort of like, oh, that's right, I was here, now I am here, I'm in a much better place here, and my goal's out here, well, so now that we've caught up with each other, let's set another obnoxious goal and go for it again. So that's the way it works. Um, but I've had a very busy day, been working on projects for clients, and um, also doing some more onboard training for a client um, where I'm helping them um, get their CRM up and running. So I'm learning the stuff to do the admin side of it for them and um, helping the users to, um, um, well, we've got the guy that does the onboarding. I'm learning it, I'm learning what he does so that I can then help them, the users, get the most out of the system. And I'm also helping um, with the setup of the system by going through what is it that you need, learning out how to do the things, how to add in the things into the CRM system that they want to track. So if they turn around after the using system for a while and say, oh, we need to also add in this, that, and the other thing, I can be able to go in and do it for them. So it's been um, a fun day of that. My brain is gone. Then I had a connect with um, with a lovely woman today and uh, we had a great conversation. Got to know her a little better as well. Um, so it's been a very productive, very interesting day today and I have enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, except for the, now the fact that I'm really, really tired and Zephy's looking at me like, isn't it walking time, mum? <laughs> So she got her treat this morning from the from the mail carrier this morning. But it was really funny because she was asleep on the bed and I looked up at the clock and I saw she was actually running late today and um, and so I said to um, so I said to Zephy, I said, Are you gonna come out? Because Chris is due here soon. And so I came back and carried on working and so Zephy eventually comes out and stretches and saunters over, jumps up onto the window on the dashboard there and watches and within two minutes of her doing that she's flying down to the door because Chris is outside. <laughs> she's so funny. Um, but yeah she was up half the night. Zephyr was up half the night. Every time I woke up it was one of those nights where it was kind of a little hot in the room but at the same time it was too cold in the room because I had my um, weighted blanket on. So in the end I ended up taking the weighted blanket off and just using um, my fluffy my winter sheets with a um, and a, a light comforter over top and that was enough to keep me warm for the night but I was getting too hot under the quilted blanket and if I put any body parts outside from under the blanket it was felt like it was too cold but I don't think it got below 60 in the RV at all last night but Zephy was up and down all night and she was trying to play with her cow and take stuffing out on the bed I was like no so I stuck it up behind my head on the right side which is away from her because she sleeps on the left side <laughs> she's trying to get a walk across my pillow behind my head and I'm like putting my hand up like going, no so we had a bit of playtime with that um, and I got up like around 2 30 in the morning and she's on her bed at the window there with her head out looking just sitting there just looking out the window there's nothing out there but she's there on patrol on watch looking out at everything and I come out this morning there's a couple of toys on the floor so obviously she had a playtime as well so she seems to be getting more active in the middle of the night and I think it's because with my foot right now, I'm not able to walk the distances that we were walking, so she's finding other outlets for um, for her um, for her energy right now. And uh, so I'm always every time we go over there, and there's a dog that I know will give her good run. They will have a good run around the dog park. I am so thankful for those. 
because it's sort of like I can't give her that right now and I know she desperately needs to have a good run so um, but anyway we will see what tonight is like it's meant to be a lot cooler tonight so maybe she'll stay maybe she's getting a little hot in there but we had the fan on in the room we always have the fan on in the room and um, so we'll see if she settles down tonight or if she's going to be as active during the night as she was but when I got up this morning I got up I got showered I got dressed I had breakfast um, and then I said to her, I said, well, are you going to come for a walk or not? And she kind of just pulls her head out, looks at me and just yawns and stretches and slowly gets up. And then the moment her feet hit the floor, she's like, zoom, zoom, zoom. Like, well, are you ready? Let's go. You told me we're going for a walk, right? And I was like, I've got to put my shoes on first. Give me a chance. So next time I have learned, wait until I am completely ready to take her out. Then go wake her up and, rust and hustle her. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with that tomorrow. We're going to try that tomorrow morning. But anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Let us know what magical things you got up to today. Um, and we will catch you guys tomorrow for Tune Up Tuesday. Hey, Konera!